Now, before the break, I mentioned how cars were sexy to me, right? For example, the OG, Aston Martin. I mean, this mug's so sexy, Rick Ross made a song about it. Then, look at the color of this Corvette Stingray. And in all these people, guess what? They're all looking at it like, yeah, that's sexy too, right? Of course, okay, so let's, what's next, what's next? Hmm. Wow, I don't know how this got here. Hey, but it fits the trend, right? Unlike Texas football's play in the second half, that hasn't been so sexy. But do you know what it is? Winning, and that's all Coach Sark cares about. Texas's wide receiver room is like a cheesecake factory menu, all right? They got options. You got the returners, DeAndre Moore, Ryan Niblett, and John Tate Cook, three young ballers ready to make an impact this year. Then you got the new kids on the block, right? Starting with U of H transfer, Matthew Golden. We may see him a lot as a returner this season, or we can see this guy, senior Silas Bolden from Oregon State. But you see the big fish in the transfer pond is Isaiah Bond. The former Alabama star is hoping to shine bright in burnt orange. Some would say no one's future is brighter than this man right here. Freshman Ryan Wingo, the St. Louis native balled out during the spring game with two touchdowns. So if you're keeping track, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dudes are expected to touch the field at wide receiver. But Coach Sark typically only plays three to four guys at that position. But with the talent in that room, Sark is open to new ideas. Mitch, come here, come here, come here, come here. Let me ask you a couple questions. Let me ask you a couple questions. First off, bloody nose. Oh my goodness. Do you have a favorite event? Uh, no, I like all the events besides, you know, 1500. Big body is not good for the 1500. <laughs> hey, you know, make the sound and say, body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. <laughs> Last question Who's the best news station? KVU on ABC. What are we talking about, right? Come on, right? Thanks, bro. Come on, bro. All right, that's all I got for you. So let's do an ideal, an ideal deal, KU at ABC. Let's get it done. Let's Let get me it talk done. to the people. Let me talk to my people. I got you. Throughout fall camp, we've talked a lot about the offensive and defensive side of the ball for Texas. But low key, one of their best assets is special teams, specifically on punt coverage. Now, watch this play against Alabama a year ago. The Gunners are Keaton Crawford and Keelan Robinson. Now, if we play this video, you're going to see they don't get jammed off the line. They actually get right to their spots in the best position to down the ball at the one yard line. Perfect execution for a group that Coach Sarkeesian thinks is the best in the nation. Now, I figured. I'm not the only one who believes UT deserves the top spot, so I asked Kelvin Banks his thoughts. Uh, that's, that's not up to us. I can't, I can't control that. Uh, all we can do is really just play hard. Boy, I know your mama told you not to lie to people. Now, over in London, USA Basketball had their last tune-up game before the Olympics. They took on a South Sudan squad who was a 43-and-a-half point underdog. The thing is, nobody told them that. In fact, the voice they were listening to was former Longhorn Royal Ivy. He's the head coach of South Sudan, and in their first ever match against America, they stood toe to toe with the giant. Sudan was up by 14 at halftime. A lot of that is because of this man, JT Thor. But late in the third quarter, LeBron James and company started to heat up. NBA champion Drew Holiday doing what he does best, lock up on defense, then saves the ball to Braun, and look how fast the 39-year-old gets down the court. Ugh. And one, strike a pose. That cut the lead to six. Now a minute left in the third. Braun would find Phoenix son Devin Booker, who splashes the, the three-pointer tie ball game. But not for long, though. Inbound pass goes crazy. It doesn't matter, though, because this man is loco. Steph, the chef. Curry gives America a three-point lead, and you could feel the momentum shifting until late in the fourth. The underdog started to bark back, got the block on Derek White, which leads to a transition. Three, give me that, like old Chris Brown. Then JT Thor gets the rock and says, look at me now. We got the lead after a big time step back. And of course, Royal Ivy and his team could feel a historical upset brewing. So with 20 seconds left, down by one, Who's going to take the last shot? Well, folks, I'll give you a hint. LeBron James, the old man, sizes up. Big body Maserati with the layup. USA takes the lead. But, folks, you still got to get the stop. There's only eight seconds left. 
Good move on Drew Holiday here. Can he float it over AD? Ooh, too strong, put back doesn't go. USA escapes with a one point win. The ending was um, was good for us just to feel that, you know, um, to feel the, the what, what it's gonna be like in Paris and Lille. Um, so good experience for us, good reminder that uh, when we play against teams, it's the biggest game of their lives. And that's a big point by coach. LeBron even said in himself, he likes those close games because just blowing teams out doesn't really get them prepared for the Olympics, but having yeah. to close it out is a big time deal. Have to fight for it. Yeah. How long did it take you to come up with those Chris Brown references? That was, uh, that was a lot of well, you know, I, I like listening to them on a daily basis, so not that long. Oh, okay. A little old school Chris Brown. <laughs> See, breezy. <laughs> All right, Corey, thank you.